Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about and also giving you three tips that I think are the most important when it comes to retakes in CSGO that you should make sure to focus on when improving if you struggle in this area currently of the game. These three tips are both for Pugs and Team CS, so I hope you find this video useful. And also guys, they aren't really in a specific order, so one isn't more important than the other, as at the end of the day, you can't just have one of them, you need to make retakes effective, you need to have all three of these in play for them to actually work. The first point I'll be making about is going to be utility. Now I'm sure all of you know your AMRR smokes or your Dust to Xbox smokes for the T side, but do you actually know your retake utility? This is something that within CSGO that I feel is actually missed out a lot of the time, especially at a much lower level within Pugs and even Team CS. The best way I think you should look at it is if you're retaking a site on any map on any site, that the CT version of an execute for the T's. Once you think about retaking like you do an execute, then you'll know the utility you want to be using in order to retake site some of you might be saying right now like oh i don't have utility on the ct side late in the round as you've used it all early on well first of all if this is an issue in itself then you are probably using your utility incorrectly as you should actually be using it reactive to the t side utility in the first place and also the time left in the round for example, if you're the B anchor or Mirage, we well, all know this role doesn't get a lot of action most of the time, apart from doubling up on short if the T's are taking middle a lot. But because of this, the B anchor should actually have a fair amount of utility left in the round if the enemy go for that A hit later on. Because of this, the B anchor should actually have a fair amount of utility left in the round for use needed towards the A site for that retake if the T's plot the bomb in that position. As you can see in this clip from NIP versus Cloud9 on Vertigo, they are playing for the retake and allowing for C9 to get the bomb down. Plopsy does attempt it to throw a Molotov towards Defel, however Shura does actually have a smoke to put it out. Plopsky will now set up this smoke for in front of default and also for a flash from the same position towards short, allowing for Brolin and Rez to peak this position. Just before this, Brolin also threw a short smoke to this position. This gives the LMP players all the space they need to retake this bomb site and get the defuse. This is a great example of knowing your utility on retakes and also working with your teammates to allow for you to easily claim back the round. The second point I'll be moving on to now will be spacing. Now this goes for both sides as a CT and also a T, understanding the distance you should have between yourself and another teammate in order to be able to refrag them effectively. This ties back into the first point that you should think of retaking as an execute with the same rules applying for you for the T side. Using your numbers to work your way back in towards the site and trade each other consistently in order to defuse the bomb. Now I know this can be hard within pugs because you may find teammates who don't really communicate or simply don't understand the premise of spacing and refragging within CSGO. Because of this you can make sure that you're the player who is following your teammate in towards the site and being in that correct position to trade just in case it does go wrong now i don't mean bait your teammate out at all please do not do that i mean actually trade them and be in a position where you can get that free frag in order to win the round basing is much easier within team cs as your communication will be greatly increased however if this is something you feel you struggle at within team cs or even pugging try to make sure you're in that correct position to trade your teammates out and allow for you to get that site back and get the round win in this clip from Cloud9 against FaZe and Mirage, we will see the T's going for a fast paced hit on towards the A site. Just with the objective to get the bomb down here for the money, Axel does go for this aggressive push in towards jungle, catching Rain and Carrigan off. However, look where Shira is positioned while Axel is doing this. He isn't super close to him, but he's also in rage to also trade the frags if required. And you can also even see Hobbit here coming through connector, ready to trade Shira if needed. Following this, Inters will then rotate from the B site towards jungle, again, being in that perfect spot to trade for sherry if required and this is all about trading and spacing guys these sites just making sure you can bounce off one another very easily and always keep that man advantage to your favor my third and final tip I'll give to you guys will be knowing when you should actually cool and actually go for a save. This more applies to pugs and a lower level within Team CS, but if you're in a pug, obviously depending on your level you're at, but the CTs can honestly just keep throwing themselves at the enemy into like a slaughter until the round is over. You do not want to be doing this as it will simply break your money. If you can save with three CTs or even two alive, you can comfortably full bite into the next round, giving yourself a much higher chance of survival. When you should save is 
is very situational depending on how well the anchors do on the site but also how fast the rotation can come in to support those players as well you can have the idea to even play off of the orper to find a pick or not when retaking and if your orper is able to find that entry back into the site then you can obviously give it a go to do the retake however if the site players go down straight away and for example it's an instant 5v3 then the odds of you actually winning that and retaking that are fairly slim count your blessings stay alive and go for the full buy into the next instead of being put onto that full eco in the following round for my last example it will be cloud nine against nip where we see nafani and shiro saving two rifles due to the b side of the map falling almost straight away before the rotation could come in because they only get 1.4k for the loss of this round it's important to keep these weapons in play in order to buy into the next one it's important you know when you should be saving guys i really cannot stress this enough these are just a few of some of the things you should consider when retaking a site. However, I feel the three ones I've gone over today are probably the least talked about. That's why I feel I should cover them. I hope this video has helped you out a little bit. And I also hope you can rethink exactly what you'll be doing in your next retake situation that you are put in. But until next time, guys, it's been Glaze and I'll speak to you very, very soon.